Hi guys, Karina here from Skip Alive. I hope everybody's doing great and I hope that everybody's enjoying the challenge. It's quite hard, some of it, but uh, I know that there's many of you that are going to get it really super well. So uh, keep posting and even if you don't want to really post it publicly, you can also send it via DM so that we can track that you are doing the challenge because uh, we will be choosing a winner at the end of 12 weeks. And I hope you guys, more importantly, are getting super fit and enjoying jump rope. I've seen some of you are accomplishing awesome stuff, so I'm very, very happy and excited for you. Um, as uh, you guys know, our ropes are available on Take A Lot, a limited range of them. And then we have our ropes on our website at www.skipalot.co. We are busy with very, very exciting things. We're going to be adding new products in January. So it's going to be lots and lots of fun. So grab one of your ropes. And use the discount codes guys that's why they're there and I'm sure the uh, Sibyl and Rob's will appreciate it a lot um, so I'm going to show you today how to do a speed step I'm going to do it with our rope because the whole point is it is slower with our rope because it's obviously weighted and beaded but also it will teach you how to do it correctly because once you know how to do it with our rope you can pick up a speed rope or PVC rope and practice with those ropes because generally speed step is done with the wire rope competitively um, and the ropes are generally very, very short and the athlete is bent over. I'm not going to do it as bent over because um, I don't, uh, my rope is not as short as a wire rope, but also it will help you to just understand the mechanics of a speed step, okay? So I'm going to show you so that you can try and follow. what a speed step looks like you'll see the movement is slower and really I started with just normal bounce to get into a rhythm but you can start straight into a speed step if you want uh, and basically all it really is lifting your feet like this the whole time okay um, it's not boxer step it's not this bouncing movement at all okay it's not a basic mount it's up 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 the whole time so your knees are kind of elevating rather than going side to side okay so it's up 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 up, up, up the whole time okay and uh, it's generally done like I said with a wire rope and shorter you grip your rope much closer to the end where the cord is and then you really drive the rope down because you're going like this the whole time. Now, obviously, I'm not doing speed step in this challenge necessarily uh, for the ultimate speed. I want you to get faster with speed step with our rope because I'm trying to build your endurance and your strength because speed step will do that. You see, I'm already like panting because it requires you to really uh, push yourself, okay? So I'm gonna show you from a side profile to just see um, what it looks like. Again, because sometimes from the front you might not see it as clearly. So I'm going to do it from the side so that you can see what it looks like, okay? Okay, and you can actually really drive the rope down. I'm not doing it as efficiently as somebody who competes because first of all I'm not brilliant at this <laughs> but it also because the rope is more weighted like I said and it's not really the rope that people use for speed step but it, it is to drive your strength factor I want you to get faster okay and I want you to just get stronger with the rope okay so that that rotation that's why we did the 20 minutes of single oh, 20 minutes oh lord 20 minutes we'd be dead <laughs> 10 minutes of um single unders and the reason why we did the 10 minutes of this is because we want to get nice and strong with that rotation strengthen those ribs wrists strengthen that rotation so that you can get more and more used to how strong you need to be sometimes when you're doing certain rotations especially if you're trying to go for doubles and triples uh doubles and triples i'm not taking away the value of any other rope but they are easier with the pvc rope 
um, and you're welcome to do that if that's what you're comfortable with this is your own journey you do what you want but um, if you want to build strength build more uh, uh, burn more calories a beaded rope is definitely the right option to do that okay um, and you'll see you'll pick up other ropes and it'll just be easier okay and another thing that I often give to people who are starting out learning to skip is a sort of an interval kind of training that you need to get yourself faster so that when you get into a double all you're gonna uh, focus on is actually the wrist rotation rather than the speed okay so uh, one of the things that I often ask people to do is to start with your basic bounce one two three four and then go faster one two three four five six seven and one two three four five six seven and one two three four five six seven and basically going in and out of that movement smoothly you're going in one two three four five six seven eight and then you go straight into one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and you transition in and out of those movements and the reason for that is really to help you get nice and strong so that when you do get to a double it's going to be so much easier for you because you're going to go one and then all of a sudden you're going to feel there we go it's going to be just easy and it's just going to be and you'll feel you'll feel straight away that the double wants to come because now your body is so used to going fast that you're going to feel that your body's asking for that additional rotation okay so i hope these tips help you guys um uh, any questions you have you're more than welcome to send me a dm uh, and you're welcome to even send us a message on our website but guys enjoy the challenge it's going to get good there's a lot of interesting things coming and if there's anything you can't do just to choose the alternative rather than not doing anything because i've often with the challenge put um, an alternative in case because ultimately we want to get the best benefits of skipping and get fit and i know it's the festive season but you have no excuse you can take your rope with you <laughs> so guys have a super blessed public holiday and we'll see you soon